Careful, brother. You're covered in five rods. <laughs> But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. Hmm. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodus Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. <clears throat> Wow, this place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! Target down! Behind you! Yep, still very, very egros. 
Liking you less now. That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhariar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. So, we report back to Hildesfini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern. Not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones.
Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowthunder. <laughs> Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. <laughs> You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bail has already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Uses but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you take the signal, it down. This will be of use. Oh, hi! Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cute pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. Bruh, when you knew Faye, was she... Let me stop you right there, killer. Brock ain't one to go breaking no confidences. Not even when it comes to the dearly departed. You don't hear me spreading your business all over town, do you? Smiths don't blab. It's just how it's gotta be. So, Brock... If Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever pants. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Bear and Bela? Well, they were both in prison, by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> you could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birger the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler, for a time. Then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just a scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesvini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat.
Freya's being held in a prison to the north. Follow Freya, brother. Ah! <laughs> 
to go. Careful, brother. You're covered in my boss. They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Our disadvantages are many. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall. But you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure haver? 
gods, Mamir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. <laughs> From above, <laughs> <my girl. laughs> Careful, brother. <laughs> You're covered in <laughs> high <frost. laughs> Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, we're on Neathhold. It was in our way. I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin.
just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs>